Hobie's been igniting the world's passion for fun on the water since the early 1950s. We make surfboards, stand-up paddleboards, sailboats, and our mirage-driven kayaks. And today, I'm standing here with the world's number one best-selling fishing kayak, the Hobie Mirage Outback. Let's take an in-depth look at some of the features of this amazing kayak that make it so popular. The Outback is pretty much the SUV of our lineup, and I say that because you can use it in almost any environment. Salt water, fresh water, rivers, lakes, you can really take the Outback anywhere. It kind of hits that sweet spot with length and width and hull design, which allows you to take it on your travel adventures, makes it easy to transport and easy to store. What's always set Hobie apart from the competition and made us the best human powered watercraft in the world is our Mirage Drive system. And the Hobie Mirage Outback comes with our 180 Mirage Drive that gives you full power forward and reverse, which you control with these tethers on the back just by pulling them. Some other neat features about it are that we have our patented kick-up technology. So if you contact an obstacle underneath the water, you're not gonna damage your drive. Your fins are simply gonna fold out of the way, and when you start pedaling, engage right back into position. We also have a patent on our fin design, which make our fins the most efficient fins in the world, as well as turbo fins. That's gonna make the Mirage Outback very fast. That's our fastest fin design. Another cool thing about the Mirage Drive, depending on how tall you are, it's pretty simple. You just adjust your cranks by pushing in this button on the top and you can set your pedal length to however far or close you want it. So the Hobie Mirage Drive is really the heart and soul of the Hobie Mirage Outback. The bow entry on this kayak is sharp, so it cuts through the water like a knife through butter and it also prevents hull slap, which makes it extremely quiet. And that just makes for a more pleasant experience on the water, and it's also not going to scare those spooky fish. As we move further back on the kayak to the midsection, you're left with two large chimes, which provide a ton of stability, but still maintain speed and maneuverability, making the cargo area and cockpit area very spacious and accommodating to all kinds of accessories. As those chimes find their way to the underneath of the cargo area, we almost have a multi-hull situation with a lot of secondary stability. So if you're loading the Outback up with a live well or a bunch of fishing gear or even your dog, you're not gonna have much of an effect on the performance of the hull. The Outback comes with the Vantage CTWC. And let's get one thing straight. If you're not comfortable on the water, you're not having a good time. And that's why this seat is so important. My friends and I have spent hundreds of hours on the Mirage Outback, and usually our days of fishing consist of 10 plus hours on the water. And when it comes to staying comfortable, the breathability, the adjustability of this Vantage CTW seat is just unmatched. The seat bottom is adjustable both on the front and the back. The way that you adjust the front is by pulling on this lever and sliding your seat up and down. That just really allows you to adjust the angle of your legs when you're pedaling. Another great feature is it comes with three settings on the rear of the seat, high, medium, and low. So right now you're in the high, you pull on this lever, you go to medium, and then all the way low. And that's gonna allow you to utilize your boat in many different ways. If you wanna be up high and able to see everything, you can be in that high position. If it gets rough, windy, a lot of current out, and you wanna get stable, you go all the way down. The seat back is also adjustable fore and aft, depending if you wanna sit in more of an upright position or a laid back position. And the way that you adjust that is by engaging this lever and letting the seat back come forward, that's gonna give you more of an upright setting or engaging it and leaning back, you're gonna be more in, in a laid down position. One of my favorite features about the seat back is the BOA lumbar support. So. If I disengage that knob, push it in, and start cranking on it, you'll actually notice that the seat back becomes tighter and provides more lumbar support. An amazing feature for staying comfortable on the water all day. The Outback comes with a spring-loaded rudder, which is housed on the underside of the kayak. The cool thing about a spring-loaded rudder is if you contact an object underneath the water, it folds up and just falls right back into place, kind of like our kick-up fins. Another great feature about the location of this rudder is it's out of the way. You're not gonna catch it on things or damage it 
especially if you're fishing, you're a lot less likely to catch your fishing line on it. My favorite feature about the Outback steering system is the dual steering handles. And depending on if you're casting with your left or right hand, your other hand is always going to be free to control your kayak. Okay, let's talk about where the business gets done, your workstation or cockpit area of the Outback. First of all, this kayak is very stable, it's wide, and so we've included EVA standing pads which dampen sound and provide a nice area that's grippy for your feet to be placed. In between the standing pads, you have this amazing rectangular hatch which opens from bow to stern. In the center of the hatch, you have a plastic bin which is fantastic for storing all kinds of gear. You have a map pocket in the lid of the hatch as well as a bottle opener. The hatch is strong enough to stand on and when it closes, it provides a 100% watertight seal. On the outsides of your cockpit area, you have the Hobie H-Track Deluxe with patented RAM hand track. And what that means is you have a track on the outside, you have keepers built into it for storing tackle boxes, so figure you had something stuck in there, these are going to secure it when you're traveling. You also have the H-Rail with the patented RAM hand track in here, so you can use a track accessory or any H-Rail accessory is going to attach to this bar. Inside here, the storage space, you do have another map pocket on either side, which is great for stashing things. And then you have your three-way waterproof plugs, which are a part of the Hobie Guardian fish finder system, so there's no drilling required for installing a fish finder. You simply run your cables, and these plugs are going to allow you to do that. You also have molded areas for storing things like pliers or boga grips or even small knives. You have spaces to clip things to. You even have these bungee retainers for keeping things tethered and on board. So really our designers put a ton of thought into this small area that makes it so efficient and really that's why I called it our workstation. Keeping your things organized, attached to the kayak, mounting accessories, that's what this allows you to do. If you're an angler that fishes in deeper water, you can appreciate the need for a fish finder. Bottom line is, they just help you catch more fish. And so that's why we felt it was extremely important to add our patented Hobie Guardian system to the Outback. Guardian allows you to install the most popular transducers from fish finder manufacturers. And from controls in the cockpit, you can retract your transducer when you're on shore, which protects it and prevents it from getting damaged. And then once you're on the water, deploy it so that you get 100% accuracy and full readings from your fish finder transducer. Those are some of my favorite features about the Hobie Mirage Outback, but there's a lot more. So let's take a quick look from bow to stern at the rest of them. Starting up here on the nose, you have a nice rubber molded ergonomic carry handle, a large front bow hatch with dual gaskets, which provides a lot of space for storing extra gear. It's held in place with these two bungees. You have an accessory mount here, which is perfect for installing the Hobie sail kit or the Bimini or any other accessories that integrate with it. You have your rudder up-down control on the right side and your Guardian system up-down control on the left. Your Mirage Drive 180 with turbo kick-up fins is held in place with the click and go system. So this is awesome. It just makes installing or removing the Mirage Drive super easy and simple. You have two molded in rod holders, one on either side with nice molded covers. So if you're storing your kayak outside, those covers are really nice. We've talked about the Hobie H-Track Deluxe with patented RAM hand track. We covered the standing pads and the rectangular hatch. As you move further back, you'll notice there's two more scupper holes right here. These are gonna help with draining water out of the cockpit and they also provide a secondary point for installing a kayak cart. You have an oversized cup holder on the left and right side of the cockpit as well as two bungee points on the outside. These are great for holding anything like a net or a two-piece paddle like this fiberglass paddle that actually comes standard with the Outback. You have your dual steering controls left and right. We talked about that and your Vantage CTW seat. Now if I remove this and actually we take a look at the underside of it, 
You'll notice there's two ergonomic carry handles right here for turning your kayak on its side or getting it up above you on your rooftop. You have your cover for the Guardian system. This is where your transducer wires are going to enter the hull through this through hull wire plug. Underneath the seat, you'll also notice that there are four legs. These can be deployed, so you can actually use the Vantage CTW seat as a beach chair, which I think is pretty cool. On the left and right hand side, just barely after the seat, you have two molded in utility trays, which are great for throwing things like lures or sunscreen. And then you move into the cargo area. So we have this bungee tie down system for securing stuff in here. You also have two more molded in rod holders with covers for a total of four molded in rod holders on the outback. You have another H-Track Deluxe on either side of the cargo area. You can actually add the patented H-Rail with RAM hand track in here too if you wish. So plenty of space in the cargo area for storing all kinds of stuff and don't forget we have two more scupper holes back here. These are going to integrate with a Hobie Livewell or be great for using a kayak cart. This tab is actually here to integrate with the bungee for storing a kayak cart on, your, on the stern of your kayak. So you can pull the bungee, get it over your cart and hook this in and it's going to hold your kayak cart in place. As we move towards the stern of the boat, we have four molded in inserts here, which are going to allow you to easily attach a power pole micro anchor or an aftermarket motor mount. And then this giant handle on the back is going to give you plenty of grip. And if you're wondering what this is, it's a removable loader which comes standard with the boat. So what it does is it squares off the stern of your kayak, which makes it super easy to get the nose up on your roof racks or to load into the bed of your truck. And when you're done with it, it just removes and can go in your car. I get a lot of questions on how the Hobie Mirage Outback compares to some of the other popular fishing kayaks in our lineup. For example, the Hobie Passport 12 or the Mirage Compass or even the Pro Angler series. So let's talk about the Mirage Passport 12 and Compass real quick. They're fantastic fishing kayaks. They just do not come with as many features as you find on the Outback. Some examples would be the Vantage CTW seat, the dual steering, the Guardian system for the fish finder transducers, or the H-Rail Deluxe with patented RAM hand track. But with that said, you can really accessorize and add things like rectangular hatches to those kayaks that make them even more fishy. So, that's my two cents on it. They're pretty similar holes all together, right around that 12 foot range and are all gonna provide fantastic fishing platforms. The Outback is just the best of the best. Now let's talk about how the Hobie Mirage Outback compares to something like the Mirage Pro Angler series. And really in my opinion, with the Outback, you're still using a human powered kayak and moving towards the Pro Angler series, you're getting into that human powered boat realm and we're, we're able to do that because of the Mirage Drive system. So the Pro Anglers have a lot more capacity. You're gonna be able to carry a lot more gear. They are heavier, um, they're more stable, and they come with a Vantage ST seat, which is a little wider, so they're gonna accommodate larger users. And the, the Outback's still more of a compact, do-it-all kayak that still has plenty of those features. The Pro Angler series, you most comfortable transporting them on a trailer or in the bed of a pickup truck, whereas the Outback is pretty easy to car top, especially with the removable loader. So with that stuff in mind, including price and weight, you know, transporting, portaging your kayak around, that's something that the Outback, I feel, has a fantastic or provides a fantastic balance with. And when it comes to something that you're going to be able to use in pretty much any environment in an easy way, you just can't beat the Hobie Mirage Outback. If you're interested in watching some how-to videos on accessorizing the Hobie Mirage Outback, my coworker Howie has a playlist on Hobie's YouTube channel. You can go there and watch tons of videos on how to install things like H-bars, fish finders, power pole micros. I've been lucky enough to fish this platform all over the world in all different kinds of fisheries and environments. And there are a few accessories that I never leave home without. Number one is a fish finder, especially if I'm out there in a deeper water environment. Number two is a H crate or a live well system in the cargo area. And then from there, 
One of my favorite things, if I am doing a lot of stand-up fishing, is adding an H-bar and a removable sidekick on the kit to provide even more stability to the Outback. But overall, make it simple or make it as rigged out as you like. You're just gonna have a fantastic time on the Hobie Mirage Outback, and thank you for watching this video. Check out Hobie's YouTube channel for more videos like this. With so many years of bringing innovation and craftsmanship to water sports products, you can count on Hobie's quality and design so that you can concentrate on the most important thing, and that's having fun on the water.